To soak or not to soak? These are the questions. To wait for the hot tub to arrive or go by the manufacturer's specifications? These are the questions we will answer for you. To soak, of course, yes, always. Ground fault protection, 100%. Make sure this is more than three meters away from the hot tub, 100%. Wait for the hot tub to show up instead of using the manufacturer's specifications. I will always wait for the hot tub to arrive instead of going with the manufacturer's specifications because today they told me I needed 40 amp stuff and as it turns out the nameplate data said 6 gauge wire and it draws 48 amps, so I need a 60 amp breaker. Hard lesson learned, but a very understandable client. So, always wait for the hot tub to arrive. Never go with the manufacturer's specification. Sometimes people make mistakes. So, to answer the question about that ground fault protection, the answer is yes, 100%. It's GFI protected inside the house here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It can get to, uh, you know, minus 30, minus 40 in the winter time. So it's best to keep that GFCI circuit breaker indoors if you can, because sometimes they can act up a little bit in the winter time. I finished my apprenticeship off in the Yellowknife Northwest Territories and we were not allowed to install GFCIs outdoors. At least the receptacles. I never did a hot tub up there, so I'm not 100% sure about the stand data on that one. But I would think because of the extreme cold, they want to keep all ground fault circuit interrupters indoors where they don't act up because of the cold.